Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the questions about engineering hydrology and the question will be from the chapter of basin. So let's solve the question. The cumulative rainfall values of a storm which took place over a basin of 7.5 km square area are given below. If the volume of the corresponding direct runoff is 0 0.135 multiplied 10 power 6 meter cubic, Determine the rainfall intensity diagram of the storm and the value of phi index. So, let's solve the question. First, we are going to determine the intensity diagram. So, again, that means that here, tau graph. So, this is going to be a time, and it's going to, be going to be delta D, and this is going to be delta T, and this is going to be intensity. Time, the unit as hour. Okay. And uh, for delta D, it's going to be millimeter. And this is going to be milli sorry, this is going to be hour. And this is going to be uh, hour, uh, millimeter over hour. Millimeter divided hour, okay? So for hour, it's going to be between uh, zero and one. So zero, one, three, and six okay so the, what is delta d between zero and one it is eight between one and three it is 30 between 38 and 71 is 33 and now we uh, determine delta d so let's determine delta t what is between zero and one as the hour is one okay and this is as two and this is three sorry this, that won't be here Th this will be here and eight over one is eight and 30 over two is 15 and 33 over three is 11. so now we have intensity so let's uh, construct the uh, um, heliograph yeah for example no, I can't draw it well. Yeah, for example, this is uh, zero, and this is one, and this is three, and this is six. Okay, between uh, zero and one, it is eight. So, for example, this is eight, okay? This is 8. And between 1 and 3 is 15. Yeah, for example, this is 15. And between 3 and 6 is 11. Okay, um, between 3 and 6 is 11. So now the heliograph is that one, okay? For the first part, heliograph is this one. Now we uh, construct the heliograph. So let's determine the value of uh, phi index. But because of that, we have, uh, sorry, before that, we have to determine the depth of surface runoff, okay? What is the depth of surface runoff and how it's going to be determined? It's going to be determined like that. Look at here, H equal to volume over area. What is volume? Look at here. The volume is here, you can see now. 0 0.135 multiplied 10 power 6 over 7.5 multiplied 10 power 6. Because this is the area and I have to convert it to uh, meters yeah, meter square, and uh, from that, yeah, from that uh, calculation, I'm going to obtain the depth of uh, surface runoff, 0 0.018 millimeter, as the depth of surface runoff, the direct runoff, sorry, and now it's going to be 18 millimeter, okay? When I uh, convert it from meter to millimeter, I'm going to multiply this, uh, 
uh, that the number by hundred, uh, sorry, one by thousand, and I'm going to obtain as millimeter. So now I have it. So now how we determine the phi index? For phi index, yeah, for example, it is uh, here, okay? This is the depth of direct runoff. So the area of above the direct, above the phi index is direct runoff. So, yeah, for example, this is, yeah, for example, this is, yeah, this one at this point is phi index, okay? We are going to assume that is 8 is phi index. So, what is the area above the 8? So, look at here. This is what is it? The, the difference between these two hours is 2. What is between uh, from the 8 to 15 is 7. 2 multiplied 7, 2 multiplied 7 plus. I just assumed, okay? I just assumed for 8. And 2 multiplied 7 is 14 plus, what is that? 3 multiplied uh, 11 minus 8 is 3, 3 multiplied 3 is 9 and this will be 23 millimeter but you can see 23 greater than 18 millimeter so you can say that we can say that the phi index it's going to be greater than 8 okay it's going to be in any place here okay any place here so how we are going to calculate the phi index I'm going to one second, I'm going to copy this one. I'm not sure about it, it's copied. So now it's copied. I'm going to solve it here. Yeah, for example, I calculated it before. The phi index will be greater than eight. I guess you understand before how I did it. I just assumed, for example, a point, and then I'm going to uh, calculate the exact value of phi index. So now it's greater than 8, okay? Greater than 8. So I'm going to write in the formulation. 15 minus x, okay? For example, this is phi index. It's going to be equal to x. 15 minus x multiplied 2. The difference is between these hours. Plus... 11 minus x multiplied 3 equal to 18 millimeter okay from this formulation from this formulation okay for sorry from this equation i'm going to obtain the x equal to 9 millimeter so now you can see that when i told you the phi index it's going to be greater than 8 and now the from the result that you obtain is 9 millimeter as a phi index so now also we obtain the phi index and uh, let's check the question if they ask for anything else uh, i guess no just we determine the phi index and the question is solved if you like these videos if you want to see more of the videos please subscribe and share with your friends see you for the next question